Hello there, and uh, I've set up my tripod so you can see how I clean a gong. So, how to clean a gong is very simple. Uh, you use some silver polish, so this is a Goddard's uh, silver polish. You can find it in any uh, UK, England uh, based uh, stores. Um, this is 125 millilitres. Uh, it won't last you that long if you have a lot of gongs like we do here. But um, if you have just one gong, this might last you a couple of months, depending on how much you use the gong itself. So get yourself some, uh, some silver polish. And how to use this, I'll demonstrate right now. So what you want to get is, I tend to use the, um, sort of like dust sheet type um, material. That's like, it's, uh, it's semi-soft yeah. and these are washable. So these are bits of... Uh, these are a bit of like DIY uh, painting sort of rags where you can clean things off. And the good things about these is that rather than using like um, toilet roll, kitchen towel, which can sometimes leave um, bits of uh, white debris about, this you can wash over and over again. And you'll see how dirty the gong is after. So what I tend to do is just give the, the bottle a shake. It's quite watery. So best thing to do is just Apply a number of drops over the gong itself. And then start off with, you want two or three of these um, that are, are, are quite clean. What you want to do is just work in circles, work all the way around. And you don't need to press hard at all, you just keep circling, uh, go, go diagonally, horizontally, vertically. And you'll get to see how, how actually dirty the, the gong is already. You can either let it to dry for a little bit and then go over it, but just go circularly, vertically, getting all the grooves because all the striation marks in the gong takes a lot of the dirt. And you'll get to see how dirty the gong is. So all that blackness is, uh, you know, from using flumies, from, from dust, and uh, so it's basically like helps to service the gong to make it sound better also. So get another clean piece and just go over again. And you can see there's more dirt there. Now with these gongs you don't need to press hard at all. You don't need to keep rubbing for ages. It's, it's a matter of fact of just applying the silver polish, applying it onto the gong, uh, giving it a complete smear over. It just basically gets off any grease marks, any stains, and any dirt and grime that's come from flumies and, and mallets. So when mallets have been left about, they tend to attract dust. And when you're playing with the gong, sometimes the dust and dirt can get attached to the gong itself. Especially because they're made of metal, they can be like, uh, electromagnetically sort of charged through, through the playing, so they'll start to attract sort of dirt and grime. So in order to look after your gong, to stop it from uh, getting rusty, from uh, you know, other watermarks and everything, then um, just make sure you keep looking after your gong and polishing it and looking after it and keeping it clean. Uh, never use water, um, just use a silver-based polish. It does have water in there. But if you leave it on long periods, then it's going to damage the gong. But the best thing to do is apply it and then wipe it off straight away. So I'll give you another demonstration because this gong is still a bit dirty. Especially where the, the flume has been played, which is at the top where the handle is. And again, just apply the, the liquid. Smear it all over. You don't need to press hard at all. Some circular motions and getting inwards and then some horizontal. You'll see that the gong is quite still dirty. So then can use a, a, another fresh piece. You see again there's a lot of dirt on there still. So this gong has been cleaned in about three or four weeks. Do some uh, circular motions, you don't need to press hard, it's not hard work at all. 
There we go. And then just one final over with the clean side of the cloth. And there you go, all done, all clean, and looks a lot more better. So, hope you've enjoyed this video, how to clean this gold. Uh, any more information, techniques, and any information you need to know about gongs and sound healing, uh, check out my other videos. Until then, namaste, goodbye.